So I'll be going to video Cadence Design Systems Inc. I just want to point out that uh, type in Google, you'll find this information. That's the name of the stock and it's CDNS is a symbol. It's 70.24 US dollar for one stock and it's a billion size bomb. It's, it's a big size bomb. That's brilliant. It's not paying any dividend. I just want to point out any form that is paying dividend, that's a positive news because that means they're financially very strong because after paying their creditors loans costs, they still have extra money. That extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends. So even if the dividend is less than 0.5, uh, you know, that's a positive sign. That means the company is financially strong. Uh, this firm is not paying any dividend. That could be, this paying, uh, firm is not paying any dividend. That could be, um, that could be that maybe they're not financially strong or maybe they have extra money, but they uh, reinvest in their own firm to further expand. So there could be many reasons. Please find out that. Let's go to Wikipedia and see when was this founded. And I can see that it was founded in 1983, 88, 31 years ago. And uh, I will just copy this exactly from Google. So there's no, um, you know, it's very easy. Type in these reviews and check out the reviews. So I can see that the reviews are 171 reviews, 4.1 star. And read through the reviews yourself. Check out the photos, jobs listed, the questions asked. And check out the reviews in Glassdoor as well. That's brilliant as well. And uh, in there, I can see 1100 reviews, 4.1 star. Read through the reviews yourself. Check out the job listed, the salaries they're paying, the interview question, the benefits they're giving, and the photos. And let's go to Justia Patents and see if it has any patents or not. That's brilliant. So I'll just paste it here, click enter, and I can see patents. So please look for applicant or signee because these are people who have provided the patents. They have patents in 2012, 13. A lot of patents in 12, 10, 16, which is a recent patent. That's brilliant. So please look for recent patent as well, as well because that means they're still innovating, which is what we want. The more patents a firm has, the more stronger it is because it's difficult to beat that firm because they're cons consist constantly innovating. That's brilliant. Now, let's go to Yahoo Finance. I want to see the key executives and what salaries are they getting. That's very important for me to know. So I'll just click the um, CDNS, which is the NASDAQ symbol, and go to Profile. And I want to see the sector, the industry, and the employees. And the best part is they have five key executives. All of their salaries have been shown. So it's very transparent. That builds the more transparency about the salaries, the more trust we are able to build. So they have shown us all the salaries. That's brilliant. Let's go to macro trend. Please click price ratio, price book ratio. Here, I just want to say that we are looking for, uh, we are looking for, um, uh, we are looking for the um, price book ratio and um, I just uh, explain it briefly if price book ratio is less than one that means stock is very cheap it's undervalued it's a discount if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets This page will load, uh, take time to load, don't worry. Um, right now it's 13.76, which means the stock is 13 times, nearly 13.76 times more expensive. Somebody who bought, buys the stock right now, they'll be paying 13 times more money. Somebody who buys bought stock in 2018, December, they, will, they bought it for 9.4 times more expensive. They paid $43 to buy something that was $4 worth. Somebody who bought in 2009, September, they paid 20 times more money because they paid $7.3 to buy something that was $0.36 worth. If somebody bought the stock in 2008, they bought it for one times, 1.02 times more expensive. They paid $6.76 to buy something that was $6.65 worth. Right now, it's 13 times more expensive. Let's check out other ratios. Um, I'm concentrating on current ratio. If current ratio is less than 1, that means stock is risky because assets are more than liable assets are um assets are less than liabilities if it's less than one if current ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means assets are uh, that means that the stock is very safe 
So please look for 1.5 or more than that. I can see that um, all right now I can see that it's one it's more than 1.5 so it's a safe stock that's pretty let's look at the previous trend if it's less than 1.5 then it's more than 1.5 so there's no consistency as such there's up and down and up and down and then there's lower than 1.5 a lot of lower than 1.5 so I would say it's a risky stock because there's no consistency let's look at debt equity ratio I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be very safe debt equity ratio will tell me if the company's mainly working on debt or equity I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that please have a look Okay, right now I can see that um, it should be 0.5 less than that. It is point less than 0.5. That means it's a very safe stock. Let's look at the previous trend. It should be, but it is more than 0.5 as well. So there's fluctuation. There's no consistency. So I can see that since 2018 March up to now consistently, it's less than 0.5. That's brilliant. So it's a very safe stock recently. But before that, it was a risky stock because it was more than 0.5. So, but recently it's a very safe stock. So it's up to you to decide. Let's go to return on equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look. Right now I can see that um, it's more than 8%, that's brilliant, and consistently it's more than 8%, that's brilliant. So since I can see 2010 up to now, consistently it's more than 8%, that's 